Hello, I'm Derek from Inflatable Sub Authority, and today we'll be reviewing the Bluefin Cruise 10 8 board. We'll be going through the specs, pros and cons, what to look for, as well as likes and dislikes. So stay tuned. Here's the Bluefin Cruise bag in all its glory. Just show you sort of the contents of the package inside the bag. So here's the front pocket. This is where I store a lot of the fins, a lot of other miscellaneous accessories. Right in here is where the board is stored along with a single hand pump and the paddles. Now what I do like about this bag is that it fits everything, which is pretty nice. And it's actually a pretty good quality bag, but we'll get into that later. Who is the Bluefin Cruise 10.8 for? Bluefin Cruise 10.8 is good for about, I'd say 80% of the paddlers. Uh, people who want a versatile board that is made of good construction that doesn't break the bank. People who want a board that has a really good warranty period of five years. Those people that want a small dog, child on the front of the board while they're paddling. It can also be used for a kayak hybrid and the waters that I recommend you use it for is calmer flat water paddling, like calm coastal conditions or lakes. So what are my impressions of the Bluefin Cruise? I like it. It's, it's a solid all around board to paddle actually. Um, it's a good amount of rigidity, like once you bounce, it kind of stops, which is nice, which means they put some good construction materials in there. Also five year warranty, 60 day money back guarantee is one of the better in the stuff industry. Uh, it's similar to Red Paddle actually, which makes premier boards. I like the deck padding as well. Like it's one of the grippier deck paddings that I've paddled on. And it just keeps your feet planted, which is really nice instead of the stripe deck padding, which kind of sometimes you kind of have to adjust your feet here and there to get comfortable. This, it just grips onto your feet. Once you have your feet positioned in a comfortable spot, you're good. And it's also not too hard on the feet either pretty nice. Mind you, I haven't paddled hours and hours on this board yet, so I can update that. Um, yeah, the board has decent speed as well. Now onto things I think could be improved with this board. Um, I do wish there's measurements on the paddle, but I do like the blade shape of the paddle. It's a little bit more for like a power stroke which is good, so, but it is a little bit on the heavier side in terms of like an all around, a paddle that comes with an all around board, but it's, it's, it's good though. Better than any aluminum paddle, that's for sure. And I do appreciate the polyurethane blade, it's pretty nice. Another thing I would change about this board, if it was up to me, of course, is that I'd have some rear bungee deck webbing and an extra roll at the front. Now I know a lot of subs these days have them, but it just helps so much, especially with storage of items. So yeah, but otherwise do I recommend Bluefin Cruise 10 it, 10 8? Yes, I do actually. It's a very nice board to paddle, especially when you have all the fins in there, tracks well, pretty stable, going side to side. Pretty good. Good construction. Yeah, definitely worth the buy. Now we'll go through the Bluefin Cruise 10.8 specs. So the board length is, you guessed it, 10 foot 8 inches. The width is 32 inches. The thickness is 6 inches. Now, the board has a maximum capacity of 330 pounds and it weighs about 24 pounds, this new version, which is actually a lighter weight compared to previous models, which have been within the late 20s, I'd say. The board is made of exo laminate technology, which is basically 
do two layers of PVC heat bonded together. So sort of like in a fusion style. And it has a 11,200 drop stitch density. Now we're going to go through the nose to tail specs of the board. So the board has 10 D rings. So you can see the very nose of the board. It's a little bit more pointed. Got the handle, got an action mount for a GoPro. And I actually like this placement for action mount. You have a bit of a smaller bungee deck webbing area, but it has handles, which is pretty nice, especially if you have kids riding on board and it's wavy. Now this is the deck pad. It is sort of a crocodile style diamond groove deck padding, which I actually really liked. I thought that it was very grippy whenever I was paddling it, even when it got wet. So that was really nice. And then these D rings are where the shoulder strap slash the kayak seat is mounted. Interestingly enough, the Bluefin Cruise does not come with the kayak seat for 2023. It's only in Canada, which is, I found pretty interesting. As we get to the tail here, there's the valve. And then what I think is really cool about the Cruise is that it's got a little kick pad, which is nice for those pivot turns. Definitely helps. Now we'll do nose to tail specs to the back of the board. So you can see it's got a nice little bottom of the board design that I really like. And of course, it has the nice big blue fin sup logo, it's pretty cool. So you can see you have a bit more of a pointed nose, a bit of a rocker to go through, see the name, and then it has a three, two and one fin setup. So it's got two side fins that are five inches and a center fin, which is nine inches. Now these fins are probably some of the quickest to assemble. And I do find that the two five inch side fins definitely helps with tracking hundred percent compared to having those little 2.5 inch glued on side fins. An interesting note as well, in case your local bluefin um, supplier has an outage of fins. These can also use for eye, can be used for eye rocker, which means that eye rocker fins can be used for bluefin as well. Just a little secret hack for those in case there's a fin shortage. As you can see, the tail is a little more squared off, so that's where you gain a bit more of your stability right there. Should be noted that the Bluefin Cruise comes in red, Legacy Blue, which is this color, Gecko Blue, Pink, Orange, and Purple varieties. Check your local Bluefin store to see which ones are available. Like for example, in Canada, it's just the Legacy Blue. Now we're going to go through the accessories that come with the Bluefin Cruise 10.8 2023 version. So it comes with the paddle, three-piece paddle, single chamber pump, the leash, the repair kit, and this Bluefin bag. Now Bluefin used to come with the kayak hybrid paddle and the kayak seat in their 2022 and earlier models. Now we're just going to go over the Bluefin cruise bag. It's 39 inches by 14.5 by 12. So it has a good amount of diameter to fit a board and a lot of the accessories that come with it. It's not hard to fit stuff into it, which is something I always appreciate. I always go for a bag your bag compared to a tight fitting bag because the tight fitting bag will give you frustrations and make you say a bunch of obscenities. <laughs> when you're trying to put the board away after a three hour paddle. Now we're gonna go through the bag in a little more detail. So you can see it has a decent sized front pocket. 
something I always appreciate from sub manufacturers. Front pocket is good for little add-on stuff. You can fit the repair kit, the leash, etc. And this is the main pocket. One of my famous zips here. So you can see there's the strap inside. There's also some uh, straps that keep the board strapped to the bag, which is kind of nice. Then you can see the side, there's side pockets, which is something I always appreciate. Side handles, which is also, I think, very key, especially whenever you're hauling the board from the car, the side handle is very handy. This is the back of the bag, it's moving very slightly. So as you can see, you have a good amount of padding here. On the straps as well as on the back, something I appreciate. You also get a bit of padding on the waist as well. As well as, of course, you get the little buckles for the chest. You get the main handle, which has some neoprene, which is actually a pretty nice little feature. We already mentioned the sides of it, but there's also some clips to really help tighten the package. To, so once the board is inside, you can kind of tighten it with these little clips so that it's a little more compact for you. I personally like the bag. Um, it's a pretty good fit. And it's fairly comfortable to carry, so you can go on at least a smaller hike with this bag and it won't dig in too much. There's some other bags I've had where this is just not possible, uh, but with this one, it can definitely be done. Now, the only thing that I would maybe add to it is I'd add wheels, which will help basically make your job a hell of a lot easier. You're just dragging it along the ground. You have the wheels, it just rolls easily. But I also realized that that will add to the weight to this and some people would prefer not to have the wheels. So we see both sides here. This is the Blue Fin Cruise paddle. Now it has a fiberglass shaft, polyurethane teardrop shaped blade. So this paddle goes from 68 to 82 inches and it weighs 2.15 pounds. So the paddle itself feels pretty good. It's a tiny bit on the heavier side in terms of what you get for an all around board, but always beats aluminum paddles. Something I do like about it though is the handle. It has a nice sort of grip handle, little rubber grip there. Now one thing I feel they could have improved on is I wish they had some sort of measurements here. So you can see there's nothing. So you have to kind of eyeball it instead of memorizing, oh yeah, this paddle height was good for me. So not the worst thing in the world to adjust it open this and stand like this and usually you like to have the paddle like that clip it in I do also like the clip here that makes the shaft a little bit more rigid so it gives you a little more power the only thing was for this specific one it came a little bit loose so before you go in the water make sure that you check um, the screws of these to make sure they're tight. This is the Bluefin single chamber dual action pump. Now it has attachable handles and the feet come off to make it a little more transportable, which is pretty nice. The gauge goes up to 28 PSI and you can switch from single action to dual action as you can see from that diagram when it's closed you'll have the high capacity double action when it's open you have the single action so basically when you're pumping and you're first starting out do the double action and as you get to the harder parts at about seven eight psi you go a single action and the pumping will be easier Quick little overview of the repair kit. There's a valve wrench, 
there's two bigger patches and then in there as well you can see there's kind of two smaller patches as well the different colors fortunately this repair kit does not include glue so keep that in mind this is the kayak conversion kit so as you can see we have attached a kayak paddle to where the handle is so you do that just by unclipping this and sliding it in so the old models used to have this hybrid kayak paddle and the seat so the seat has four straps that are adjustable you just clip them onto the D, the four D rings here, and you open it up, and you just sit. I have it a little bit tighter because so it doesn't sag and fall off. But my impressions of the kayak seat was that it was actually pretty nice to paddle. One of the nicer boards to paddle whenever you're in that kayak formation. Lufen offers a few add-on accessories besides the kayak hybrid kit. It also features electric pump. Now, the UK version will have a lot more accessories compared to the North American ones, um, just due to the fact that Bluefin is a UK-based company. They also have action mount cameras and a few other little odds and ends, replacement fins. Etc. So on to the likes and dislikes of the Bluefin Cruise. Now, there's a lot of things I really liked about this board. Um, one of the things that really stands out to me is the deck pad. I like the diamond groove crocodile skin texture of like the deck pad. It's not actually made of crocodile skin. But it really helped your feet grip, which is really nice. And it's something that smooth or striped deck pads don't really do. I think it's a great all around board for people to learn on in calm water conditions. So the skill levels can be from beginner to intermediate. I also really like this little kick pad here. Helps for people that want to do some more advanced maneuvers such as step back turns slash pivot turns. I do like the fact that they have some action mounts as well. Three here. This, these are the best places in my opinion for action mounts. So they did a good job with that. Handle is padded neoprene. Padded neoprene helps it be comfortable on your hands. I also really like the little clips for the kayak hybrid. Helps make the kayak seat a lot more comfortable. So. Basically, I find the four is better than the two because the four you can adjust a bit better and it feels more secure whenever you're sitting on it. I also like the fact that for every board that is sold, they plant a tree now. So Bluefin has initiative with ecology, which helps basically restore the planet, which I think is a win for everybody. So now onto the things that I think they could have improved on. So first thing I can think of is that there's no height range for the paddle. It would be appreciated if there are at least some notches with some numbers on there that people can kind of remember for whenever they're adjusting their paddle. I also found that riding this board through waves was a little bit hairy at times. It didn't fall off, but for a beginner, it'd definitely be challenging. I think that's partially because of the slightly more pointed nose. Bluefin features a five-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Now the warranty, like all other ISOP manufacturers, does not include external damage, um, improper care, improper use, keeping in the sun too long at a high PSI, all those types of things. So it should be noted that the 60 day return period is a little bit tiered. So it's kind of good to read between the lines. So from zero to 60 days, a refund or a new board will be offered. For 60 days to six months, a new board will be offered. And from six months and beyond, a like new board will be offered. And like a lot of ISOP manufacturers, the return is basically 
the responsibility of the person shipping it back to the company. So if you bought the board, you have to pay the shipping back, the Bluefin. Is the Bluefin Cruise 10 a good buy? Yeah, I believe it is. It's a great starter board for anybody who just wants to get into paddleboarding, but they want a board that'll last a long time and that one that will also grow with them. I also really liked the tracking, the maneuverability, and the stability of this board, which are all sort of the three pillars. Those are all mixed and blended very well with this board, which I really appreciated. Another thing I really like about Bluefin Cruise Series is that it's very versatile. So if you don't think this one is big enough, you can get the 12 foot one. If you want a tandem, you can get the Bluefin Cruise 15 foot. If you want a board that is even more stable and has a bit more performance, get the Bluefin Cruise Carbon, which is even more rigid. That comes in the 10, 8, 12 and 15 foot. So if you like this review, like and subscribe this content. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is Derek from Inflatable Step Authority and we'll see you soon with another board review. Cheers.